We're gonna go into the towel line and out of the chair line. I feel like people staring at you. A lot of times, what you think they're thinking about and what they are thinking about, very different. It's 38. West Coast Guard. I would bet this is aluminum. Ah, yes. It's a gold bar. Disguised as a piece of aluminum. Yes. 38. Chances are it's aluminum. But if you want to risk it, feel free to not dig it because gold as far as I know can ring in starting at around 35 yeah I know that's crazy but gold gold the gold VDI is going to depend on, on metallurgical composition like the actual mass of the gold a tiny little woman's ring versus um, a big men's ring or a big men's bracelet or a big college ring, you know, something like that. Or whether it's 10, 14, 18, 22 karat gold or something in between. Or even if it was a gold coin. If you were lucky enough to be somewhere where you would find them. Or a gold doubloon. Which, by the way, are worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. You ever find a gold doubloon? Don't sell it. Take it to at least three people and have it appraised and then put it in a safe deposit box. Go from there. Um, half a million dollars for gold doubloon is possible. Depends what mint it came it, it was minted at and the year and condition and stuff like that and maybe even the history of it or the history of the ship that it may have been on I don't know but the stuff I said at the beginning is most relevant you're almost never to running there to run across one There's a guy by the name of Robert Marx, M-A-R-X, passed away a long time ago. But this guy, he was the absolute bomb. He was amazing. In the um, 50s, 60s, and 70s, this guy was raking it in. And he had dove on, I don't know, pick a number, 400 shipwrecks, something like that. I mean, and the stuff he pulled up was just crazy. Um, man, there's some really good places over there to, to be in the water I, and, and detect. Really shallow, too. I'm going to have to probably hang up the XP Deus for, for a weekend and get out here with um, the pulse induction detector and hit the water. Um, it's not that I don't trust the dais, it's that I don't trust me. I won't get in the water. I have the bone phones. Oh, maybe. I don't know. I could rig it up and I have the bone phones. Um, I don't know if I want to listen to my head vibrating for two hours. Um, 
digging targets. I, I'm really not sure. I have to try them out. They're still in the box. Believe it or not, I'm waiting on the uh, XP Deus XL uh, headphones. They have enough of a waterproof rating that if they should uh, fall off my head and go in the water, they'll be fine. I just, you know, shake the water off with the back of my head or if it rains. The ones that come in the box with the XP Deus, I, I don't know what they were thinking. I, I really don't. They're just garbage. They're, they're absolute garbage. It, it takes an act of Congress to get them to stay on my head. It's, it's hard. I have to put a hairband on top of them. Otherwise, they're going to end up, you know, and my hair goes down like long, long, long down my back. And anybody with long hair, even guys with long hair, you know, they're going to, this, this, this headphones are going to drive me nuts. Uh, I guess you could get the gray ghosts, but they're not waterproof. Don't let anybody tell you different. You get them wet, they're done. And I don't know, $170 for not waterproof. I, I think it's a crime because they actually make waterproof. I have the waterproof ones that are good to 200 feet for my uh, Garrett Sea Hunter 2. Um, and they're awesome. I use those routinely on the Garrett. So, I love uh, Grey Ghost, but this product that they put out for the XP Deus is um, unacceptable. They need a waterproof version of that. You know, at least make it good to 20 meters. Duh. The detector's good to 20 meters. Duh. If they were doing that, they would be flying off the shelves. What do I know? Just a guess. It's really not. Got a pelican going for breakfast. There he goes. Those birds are something else. I love pelicans. I think they're cool. <laughs> it's a very clean signal on a dime. Turning into a quarter. Got it. Just need to clean this out slowly so I don't lose it. Where are you? I see it. 
Yay, it's quarter. <sighs> Better than pennies. We're on another quarter, I think, or a dime. Okay. All right, this is fine, but let's see if we can find a target. Not a quarter. Looks like a quarter, but it's disguised as a penny. <sighs> blast. Blast, blast, blast. Okay. We're going. That's another penny. Turn 90 degrees and keep digging. Got it. Oh. Take my own advice. We'll dig on the edge of the hole. See how that works out. Got it. A monster. Penny, penny, penny. So we're using my program H2O Max. It's probably a penny. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Ugh. Dredging up the beach. It's target rich, I'll tell you that.
That's probably a quarter. Got it. Still got it. Not a quarter. Bloody penny. And you would think it was a quarter. I'm gonna rescan. Cause to me the VDI came across the quarter. No. That's it. Okay, we got another one. What am I doing? I'm moving slow. I lost it. Because wave hits, that's it. Huh, would you believe I recovered it? It's just a penny, but... <sighs> that was fun. Okay, another target. Somebody would just walk down this beach and sprinkle pennies. Okay, got it. Ding 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 ding. <sighs> On another target. Super clean. Alright, so we're digging. And we think it's a penny, uh, a dime actually. Oh. All right, it's in a scoop. Got it, and it's a quarter. It's a quarter. Yay. The best I've done this morning was down here on the beach. Okay, we're on another target. I would venture a penny.
You gotta use one of these plastic scoops and I can help you make it. Make sure you scan the scoop before you dump it and make sure you scan the scoop on the premise that not only may it be in the scoop as the one and only target, but there may be multiple targets. Ah, there it is. Almost lost it. Scoop works great. I'm happy I made it. Okay, we got another target. One foot from the other one. And I'm not kidding. Ugh. With a scoop like this, I would be turning. Here we go. After each iteration, I would turn 90 degrees and get the scoop from the right angle of the previous one you just dug. I see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know they're just pennies. I know. I also know that rings fall in the sand, same as pennies. I was on this beach once and I got two rings in 10 minutes. So, la di da. Okay, I got another target. Got it. Got it. Ugh. Another pen. Okay, on another target. I'm venturing a nickel. It's a uh, nickel, 62. The plant nickels are very consistent at 62. I said clad, modern clad. Don't get it confused with buffalo nickels, war nickels, this nickel, that nickel, made in 12th century, no. Modern nickels. Okay, we're on another target. And I'm venturing a dime. Got it. No, it's a penny. Pretty rock. I'm gonna take it. I'm looking for a rock. I'm just joking, but it is cute. It's all black. I, I don't remember seeing any black rocks on this beach. That's one thing that makes it interesting. All right.
water so it flattens back out. Okay, I'm on another target. Money is on a penny. Negative. If they were, if they were diamond rings, I might take a vacation. All right, we're gonna come back this way. Okay, we're on another target. I heard it. There it is. <sighs> wow. Lifestyle's the rich and famous. Honest to God, a target every foot. Well, let's see what happens. Okay, we're on the target. Ah, gotta break my neck. Negative. We're already down at the shell layer, so I mean, this is the base of the beach. It's not gonna go that much further. They all seem to be right at the shell layer. That's it. Okay, that's it. It's a penny. I have enough pennies. Well, you know, it could be something else. Would it really suck if I was right behind you? And I pulled up a ring. All right, we're on another target. Isn't it cute? I love it. It's it's almost worth it just to hear those cute comments and make people happy. Oh come on. Oh. Yes, I, I see it, I see it, I see it. Yeah, it's a gold bar. Just guys, there's a penny. The water will wash in the rest of that sand. I don't know how much more I could be able to do without passing out. Okay, we're on a quarter, I think. Okay, cool, got it. 
Und wer are you? Let's go there. Uh, yay. Uh. All right. The only thing that's going to limit me is whether or not I pass out. That's dig, dig, dig. It's hard work. I've been out here since 7 a.m. And it is. It is almost 10. I'm saying the water is cold. What he doesn't realize is it's colder than his body temperature, but if he goes in for 10 minutes, he'll be fine. I'm doing the old woman shuffle. If you take smaller steps, you will um, certainly be less likely to um, Uh, skip areas. Yeah, there's a lot of good places to detect here. It's just a matter of uh, how much um, energy I'm going to have to do it. I'm probably going to jet pretty soon. You know, I, I tell people, one guy asked me in the parking lot, he's like, he's like, do you do that full time? And I'm like, oh my God, no. Please, no, no, no. I wouldn't want to do it full time. It would kill me. Not only that, it's brutally difficult. It's fun, but you know, when you can't leave, it becomes work. You know what I mean? So you do what you can, and then that's the end of it. But yeah, th this is a great area to do. I'll be back. I think, um, you know, you just don't know. So maybe I'll come back with the pulse induction unit and the dais. And I'll take one out of the trunk or the other, and that's it. But digging out there is not easy either because the water um, is washing over that constantly. And it can be challenging. It can be uh, challenging to stay on your target. It can be challenging uh, in so many ways. All right, so more later. Okay, we're on a target. I'd say either a penny or a dime. Got it. It's a dime. say it's another dime. We're on another dime. Ooh, that's been down a long time. Sorry for the equipment malfunction.
Because when I bend over this heavy ass necklace with my keys and my credit cards and my watch, it goes swinging in any direction it wants. Okay, that's iron. Top left to bottom right. Could be, could be something else, but probably iron. It's okay. Okay, another target. Another gold bar disguised as a penny. All right. Got it. target. Zip. Zip. <clears throat> gotcha. a dime. Oh, I saw it there. It was um, on edge. Describes a coin that is standing incredibly. going to the red flags and then we're wrapping it up. Anybody want a nickel? It's a nickel. It's a nickel. I'll bet it's a nickel. Let's see. One. I'm not doing the best job. And it's a nickel. <sighs> what do you want to see? What? Tell me. Great, I don't speak Portuguese, oh, so we're I, all set. Uh, she can, uh, can see here. What does she want to see? What do you want to see? Do you speak English? Yeah, yeah. A little bit? Yeah. So what do you want to know? You want to know how it works? Yeah. So if metal puts out a field, an electrical field. This thing finds it. Ela, 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 com isso daqui, ela localiza que é metal. Aí, ó, ela vai colocando... So, this translates what the co what the coil sees I can predict very accurately what it is understand this this is one of the best detectors they sell on the planet it's made by a French company called XP detectors it's French French yeah it's the best uh, it's really good it's the XP days too 1700 US. 1700? 
So you have to um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Lobster claws. You know lobster claws? Lobster? Lobster. Uh, yeah, claws. Yeah. Claws. With a Z. Ah. All one word. Uh, uh, una, una palabra. Una palabra. Okay. okay. Recovery. Uh, Segunda palabra. Recovery. Uh, uh, okay. Cool. Uh, so you want to learn? You want to know anything else? No. You want to learn something else? Yeah. Tu quieres aprender más? Huh? Thank you. Uh, de nada. Okay. Um, what do you uh, do searching? What do I search for? Yeah. Uh, gold, either rings, necklace, um, bracelet, bracelet, uh, platinum, um, silver, uh, coins. Yeah. Más o menos, you know. And total, that's it. Entiendes? All right. Thank you. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Bon dia. Bon dia. Portuguese. All right. Have a wonderful vacation. Thank you. Sure. Subscribe to the channel. You can watch. And I think you can translate to Portuguese. I have Portuguese viewers, so you can translate to Portuguese, lobster claws, recovery. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Donata, Donata. Have fun. So, I think I got all that on film. She's adorable. She, um, I don't know, I put her at 12. Very curious. Um, it's not like before girls would shy away from anything technical because society, societal rules would tell them you're a girl, no math for you, no science for you, no robotics for you, no this, that, and the other for you. Um, go home and raise kids and go cook dinner. But that's, that's BS. So you hear it because she's the one that initiated the question, not him. Think about that for a minute. Anyway, I'm just about tuckered out, so. But I think based on how this beach is sort of, we got another one. I'll dig it, and then I think we're done. It's a penny. Um, the water concentrated all those targets there. I mean, there is a target, and there's more targets. I mean, I can come back. But when you find an area that is target rich, don't be daft. Stick around. Got it. Um, go through the area extensively. And after you've gone through it, go through it again. Don't get so arrogant. Again, as I say, don't get so arrogant to think, oh, I got everything. I'm thinking it's a, it's, a, it's a nickel. I'm not at the flags yet, so I'll dig. Uh, it's a nickel. Nickel. Take the time to talk to people. You'll, um, you'll, you'll be glad you did.
Okay, we got another target. Definitely the last one. I'm just too tired. We're folding the tent. I'm gonna start walking out. All right, we're between the flags and we are going. Thank you for visiting Lobster Clothes Recovery. I'm Brittany and uh, stay tuned. We will be back here. Uh, it's just so beautiful. Oh, I, I'm, I'm thinking about bringing skin diving gear out here and trying to, to dive this, but you just never know what to bring. Yeah, I end up with a trunk full of stuff. All right, I'm going to be visiting Lobster Clause Recovery. Have a wonderful day. I'm going to go pass out after I drive home. All right, so welcome back to Lobster Claws Recovery. I'm Brittany, and we're doing um, the after detection session, whatever you want to call it. Uh, interesting day. I'll make it quick. Um, let's let's just go through it, and then uh, well, whatever, we'll do it. Okay, so. That is a lighter that is toast and super glue that somebody left on the beach. I think that's actually still good. It is. Like I said before, treasure comes in all forms. So we'll keep it. Because <sighs> I don't really care where it came from. And we've got lipstick. Hasta la vista, baby. Aluminum. More aluminum. A rock. I want this rock. I don't know. Call me weird. It's fine. This is a cap with a, another cap inside it. Bizarre. Aluminum. Disgusting. A washer. I'm keeping it. I keep stuff like that if it has some value. That came off a of chase lounge, lounge chair. That came off of who knows what. Aluminum. Votiv candle, I think. Pull tab. Plastic. Tiny aluminum. Gross. All right, so um, actually, I was at the waterline uh, last, and it was amazing because uh, I did notice that the shoreline uh, sort of 
curved outwards, sort of like if you laid down a fish hook with the hook part um, facing out into the water. Got it? So it was kind of like that. And um, I was thinking a lot of stuff's going to get caught up in there. And sure enough, it did. Uh, I've never actually been fortunate enough to be somewhere where that is the case. To catch one of those. Nickel. Dime. Dime. And the rest are pennies. But a lot of targets. You see all these targets? Another quarter. So that's it. Just when you see those kind of features on the beach, don't ignore them. Now that was the byproduct of strong rip currents having formed on that beach line. And how do I know there are strong rip currents? Because there were signs, uh, flags, you will see them, the red flags that um, clearly tell you that. All right, so um, that's it. Thank you for visiting Lobster Claws Recovery. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'm always grateful that you come and stop by. Uh, hopefully you'll learn something or two and be entertained. There's a good interview in here from uh, uh, a Brazilian father and his daughter that approached me about what I was doing. And I took the time to explain it. When people come up to you, do not ignore that because it's important to grow the hobby and it's important to be a good PR person for the hobby, public relations. Okay, ciao.